up getting every single one that I wanted. This is actually not coffee by the way. This is going to the bookstore today and yes we're gonna go and buy some books today and obviously i'm gonna bring you guys with me i am so excited to go to the bookstore it's been a while since i've bought books and i have a lot of new releases that i'm eyeing that i really want to get i originally wanted to wait until my birthday which is in two weeks because i get a 15 percent discount but i can't wait especially for one book so i really want to go to the bookstore today i have three books in mind that i really want to get the first one is summer romance by annabelle monaghan and i feel like i'll be able to get this in the bookstore by the way i live in indonesia so the bookstore is here the books are sparse we do not have lots of selections and so i'm hoping that these books are available if not i might cry but it's fine second book i want is this honestly yours by kristen becca ritchie and the third book is reckless by lauren roberts which i am the most afraid of because i feel like i won't be able to find it i don't think it's available yet in my bookstores which is sad because i really really want to read that one that one is the one that i really want to get to reading and hopefully we'll be able to find the book we want let's go and pack our bags and let's get to shopping wait wait wait, wait. what do you like about this girl i mean there's like a lot of things i'd probably start with I like the way she smiles She got me staring for a while Got me staring for a while yeah, yeah. Baby, it's our conversation She's my favorite notification She knows how to dress for special occasions She got me thinking life could be better It sounds so to f I changed into a t-shirt because I just couldn't stand wearing outside clothes at home and so I changed back into my t-shirt and we're gonna talk about the books I purchased. You guys saw and I did end up getting every single one that I wanted. The first one is Honestly Yours by Kristen Becca Ritchie. It's their newest release. The only book I've read by them was the Addicted series but I am so excited about this. I don't know what this is about so I'm gonna read the back. According to the back of the book it says starting fresh is the only way Phoebe can escape a life of crime but her best friend's older brother complicates honest dreams in this gripping new series from the authors of the Addicted series i guess it's a best friend's older brother trope and i've heard that it's like something something to do with mafia romance but i'm not really too sure so my dog really wants to play right now oh oh oh, oh okay okay he's going crazy <laughs> something to do with her wanting to have a new life but then her best friend's older brother comes along with them and then he's the problem because he's really attractive sounds really interesting but i'm not gonna pick this up until i finish the two series and i still have that last epilogue novel so i might put this off for a bit oh my gosh oh my gosh he's going crazy give me give me like five minutes and then i got summer romance by animal modigan i've never read any of her books but the only one i could find in my book store is her newest release i'm gonna be purchasing her other two releases overseas it's gonna be in like my birthday book haul i know about this is that it is a single mom and her husband recently left her and she has kids and then one day she decides that she wants to get rid of her old life of her being sad about her failed marriage all of that and then she ends up finding a summer fling which is why it's like a summer romance i'm excited to read this but i might also put this off until my next summer trip because i will be going to bali again you guys do not know and you have never followed any of my videos i went to bali twice this year and i'm going again in i think two months so i might bring this while i'm in bali as you guys saw i ended up getting reckless by Lauren Roberts as well and oh my gosh I don't think this book was going to be available but I left the bookstore and I saw it on like the corner and I didn't realize that there were books there and there was only one on that shelf I paid for the other books and then I went back and I paid again for this one because I really wanted this book it is following powerless and if you guys don't know I loved powerless I'm excited for this second book it is thinner than I thought it would be I thought it was going to be a thicker book but it's actually thinner than the first book and if you guys don't know powerless you're following the life of ordinaries and elites and ordinaries do not have powers elites have powers our FMC Payton is an ordinary pretending to be an elite and our MMC Kai is the son of the king and he's the second born he's going to be the enforcer which basically helps the king in the future and he is an elite he's a very very strong elite and these trials occur and Peyton was recruited to be a part of these trials they end up meeting there's a very good enemy to lovers romance going on and in this book wow 
things really did happen and I'm excited to see the banter, the enemies to lovers. I am so pumped to read this. I might get into it immediately. After I finish reading my current book, I might get into it. The last book I got is The Match by Sarah Adams. Also, I need to get off this camera really quick because my dog is going crazy. I wasn't expecting to get this book. I didn't realize that Sarah Adams has a new release. I thought the rule book was her current release. And I don't know what the heck this is. I'm not gonna lie, but it says revised and expanded edition. So is it like it was indie published and then it got traditionally published? I don't even know what this is about. I just know that there's a doll. I came in wanting to get these three and I came out with another book because I didn't expect to see a Sarah Adams book. But if I see her books, I will definitely get it because I love reading her books. So this is the last book I got in my bookstore vlog. All the books that I purchased today, I didn't go too crazy because once again, I'll be having my birthday in two weeks and I'm gonna be buying lots of books during my birthday because we have a 15% off. I just wanted to get really really anticipated new releases. I want to buy a lot more during my birthday. I'm so excited for that but that video might come out next month instead because I will be buying lots of books overseas. There's not a lot of books in my country once again and so I might do my birthday book haul very close to like end of next month. These are the books I currently bought and I'm excited for them. I probably will get to reading regular soon. We'll see. I might do a reading vlog in this vlog actually of me reading Reckless. I am going to go now. I'm gonna finish off my latte. This is actually not coffee by the way. This is Earl Grey latte and I am having such a blast with it. I have recently fallen in love with Earl Grey and matcha because I have really bad acid reflux and coffee makes it worse. So I'm gonna drink my old grey latte and then if I end up making this a reading vlog of Reckless, I'll let you guys know. This is a little bit random. Didn't expect to be filming today, but I want to clean my bookshelves out. Right now, in this current moment, I'm currently cleaning my whole room and I need to clean up my bookshelves in order to give space for other books that I currently have. Right now, honestly, my bookshelves, they're literally there's literally no space <laughs> i'm out of space and i don't know how to make space because at this point honestly my shelves are full but i'm gonna try i think what i'm gonna do first and foremost i'm gonna tackle my bottom three shelves first my bottom three shelves and the one on the corner there i'm gonna tackle those four and figure out a way to make space because right now these two shelves they're rainbow shelves i'm gonna clean all the books out take everything out and then rearrange i'm gonna figure everything out later I know but what I've done so far is that I made this shelf my YA fantasy shelf I made this shelf an adult fantasy shelf this is completely empty this used to be my Cassandra Clare shelf and I moved it up here I left a little bit of space here for sword catcher which I have not read still in the TBR cart I am planning to make these two shelves adult fantasy shelves and these two shelves, YA fantasy shelves. So I need to move some of these books here because this is not YA. And I made this top shelf here my lit fic slash sci-fi slash mystery shelf. Basically, genres I rarely read. They're all my mystery Jennifer Lynn Barnes books. And then I have the Good Girl Guy Tomorrow series, my lit fic books slash contemporary fiction books. I have two sci-fi books here. And I know, I know one for my enemies, not sci-fi, but I'm gonna move it later. Let's do another B-roll because I need to quickly fill this up. We're now down to the rainbow shelf in these two shelves. Here. I'm going to take everything out, arrange it either by author or by the size because this is pissing me off. It's so comfortable. No one seems to hold me like you do. Mm -hmm. You're so wonderful. A star could never shine as bright as you. Mm -hmm. They still see light. This is the final, final result. I did not touch any book from here. I did take out Never and put it down here together with my Magnolia Parks. But other than that, I didn't shift or move any of the books here. Bottom shelves, the way I separate them is this is adult romance and these are 
no spice ya romance there is no specific way i arrange them i just arrange them by publisher i put books i didn't really enjoy on the left side and then books i enjoyed on the side and the middle areas are just books that are not small like not on the small side or i just don't want to put them up there because it creates too much space they're just random they're just romances i don't really care much at this point these became adult fantasy ignore that that's my pile of july books and these are ya fantasy i didn't realize i have so much ya fantasy books didn't touch those didn't touch those and this is the final final book shelf reorganization <laughs> Initially said that I was going to do a reading vlog of Reckless in this video, but I decided that I'm not going to do it. I decided to cut it off early because this book ended up being picked up in another reading vlog. And it is my Pinterest picking my reads for a week type of reading vlog. And this book appeared on my Pinterest, so I have to read it in that reading vlog. And so I'm going to end it early. I'm not done with the book, obviously, but the rest of my thoughts about this book is going to be in that reading vlog. I stopped at 120. I'm ending the chapter. And I I am so far really enjoying this. I think the beginning of this book was a little bit iffy for me because I felt like it was really cheesy, but then it got a lot better, especially with the world building. I feel like there is a lot more world building with this book compared to the first book. And I feel like in this book, there's gonna be a lot more enemies to lovers feels so i am going to be having lots of fun and i am aiming to get this done today but the rest of my thoughts on this book is going to be in a reading vlog and i think it's going to be up in a few days after this video so yeah that is going to be it for this update i apologize for ending it early that is it for this video thank you so much for watching this hopefully you guys enjoyed watching all of the bookish things i did in this video because i go book shopping and there's a little book call and then i reorganize my bookshelves and there's a little bit of reading done in this video but yeah that is it for today thank you so much for watching if you guys enjoyed watching this don't forget to like and subscribe it will mean a lot to me and i will see you guys in the next video bye